Hi, I'm Steve and I'm with I-94 RV and this is a 1996 Winnebago Adventurer. This is a 34 foot model. Uh, it's got a slide out, it's got a rear queen bed. It's a uh, 460 Ford engine. It's got about 61,000 miles on it. And uh, the coach overall structurally is in good shape. The chassis is in good shape, but uh, some of the RV appliances don't work. So it's an as is uh, sale that we're doing, but it's a good opportunity to probably get a real good price on a, on a nice motorhome like this. So let's take a quick walk around it. Um, these, uh, the front tires are in nice shape. I think they were replaced in 09. So the sidewalls look nice and solid and straight. So it doesn't show any signs of leakage or delamination. So this is storage and that basically passes through to the other side. So it's really big storage. Uh, you got an electric step here and some more pass through storage. Winnebago does a nice job on their doors. They're nice and thick and strong. And you also get a little uh, outside entertainment system here. And um, so that's storage, but it's, all, it's just a little shallow. Uh, the rear tires are uh, older, but they still look like they're in good shape. I want to point out, if the camera could point out the um, top here, that the awning was removed. So you don't have to worry about an awning. And this is uh, Winnebago for you. They make all their tanks. The water systems are done real nice, and it's all heated in here. And this is just a great storage here. Uh, probably one of the best things about Winnebago is that they're a very uh, well-made company. They're a they're very safe product, and it's got a one-piece fiberglass roof. Uh, they do stuff like mount the ladders in, with steel backers, and they, they do a lot of things to make them really um, be safe. Uh, we tried to start the generator. Uh, we had to put fuel in the carburetor and it would pop only a little bit so we could not get it to run. Uh, here's the holding tank, the sewer section. So we did fill up the holding tanks and they held water nicely, no leaks. And there's the 30 amp cord. So yeah, the sidewalls look good. The decals are a little peeling, but that's normal, but it looks solid. And um, I just want to point out too, this is the uh, HWH slide. So that's a really well-made design. Winnebago uh, was one of the first in the slide out industry and they, uh, with HWH, and they really built a lifetime design. Uh, also, I just want to point out, has a nice door and there's where the jack controls are. And if you look down here, you can see the jacks are down. All four jacks work. So the slide rooms and the jacks are working good. Okay, I don't see any chips in, or breaks in the glass. I do see that there's a little bit of delamination in the glass and there's some signs that the windows have been sealed in the front. So I didn't notice any leaks up there, but it might have leaked. All right, got a nice big grab handle. On the inside of this coach, it definitely looks like it's in good shape. The carpet's in nice shape. Um, the seats have covers on them, so I didn't see that they're ripped underneath though. Put, they put a flat screen TV in. Uh, this has the Ford 460 for power. So in 1996, the Ford 460 was a really good engine. And you can just see that this makes to a bed, the dinette makes to a bed, and in the kitchen you've got a microwave and there's a range top and oven. Um, we tested both the roof airs and neither one worked. So the roof airs are not working and the furnace is not working. So we've tested both those things, they did not work, um, <clears throat> but we did test the refrigerator and the water heater and the water system and the LP system. All those uh, things function nice and we put new batteries in this coach so they're holding up good. Uh, okay, let's check in the, or let's just look in the fridge real quick. Looks nice and clean, looks decent. And this is just a big, oh, that's gonna be tough. Nice big closet in there though. 
Big giant shirt closet. More closet space. And there's a TV spot up here. So in the back bedroom, um, you got a queen bed back here. And I tell you, I've looked in the upper walls and stuff behind the cabinets in here. Not only is there a lot of storage, but everything looks solid. I don't really see any stains. Uh, the coach doesn't have any bad smells in it. So I think this is a good solid coach in that regard. Um, in the bathroom, you got a porcelain toilet with a uh, foot flush. And there's a nice sink. There's some cabinetry here. And in the shower, um, I'm 5'11". I can stand in here no problem. And again, in this area, I don't see any stains or signs of leaks or mildew. So the coach looks solid throughout. Uh, let's go take it for a drive. All right, we're going to take the Winnebago for a drive. Uh, I'm just going to give it full throttle here on the highway exit ramp and see what it's got. Oh, yeah. All right, beautiful. There's 55 miles an hour, like no problem.